We now return to Jackass. I'm gonna take a shotgun blast to the face. <laughs> we should try some of that stuff. Here, at home. That skull and crossbones warning before the show was pretty clear about not doing that. Okay, ready? All right, we're rolling. Ow, 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 oh! ow, ow. Oh! You okay? I'm scared, I'm scared, I'm scared, I'm scared. Ah! Does this get fixed with ice or heat? Now we're just waiting for the bees. <laughs> Giggity. All right, here they come. We wouldn't want the bees to get mad. I hate you bees! I hate you bees! Oh, stop, I hate you bees! I hate you bees! I hate you bees! I hate you bees! Ah! What the fuck? <laughs> Why would you do that? Peter, this is not safe at all. Shut up, Brian. Just keep filming. Okay. I'm Peter Griffin, and I am the greatest American hero. I never thought I could be so free. Flying away and a wing and a prayer. Wait a minute, guys. I think he's really hurt. Help! Help! I think my arm is broken! Oh! My back! I can't move! Uh, I thought I was gonna die. Ah! <laughs> he jumped into that lake to try and save your life, and he's eight years old, Peter. Eight! That's 56 in human years. I was just a little tired. Yeah, well, that's how it begins, Brian. Then the next thing you know, I'm making Peter dig a hole in the yard and you're in a pillowcase. Don't you mean tis talking about P. Duty? I know how you young people talk. Peter, I'm not old, but I'm not that young either. If movies and TV have taught me anything, it's that young people today are constantly being antagonized by preppy 80s bullies. What? Stay away from Muffy. She's my girlfriend. She just doesn't know it yet. Now, if you'll excuse me, I gotta go get yelled at by my father. Peter, did you have fun with Brian? No, Lois, he was a wet blanket. And I'm starting to think you might be right. Brian's getting old. Family, I'd like to introduce new Brian. Hey, gang, whose leg do you have to hump to get a hug around here? You got a new dog? Yes, sir. But I'm the dog. Well, now that you're getting older, new Brian's here to take some of the load off. I, I can't believe you got a new dog. W what about me? Hey, you're still my buddy. New Brian is just a new friend for the family. I'll start up again in nine minutes. Fire away. I saw a picture in National Geographic of a woman with nipples that cover most of her breast, too. And suddenly, I didn't feel so alone. Hey, New Brian. Oh, you have a guitar. Yep. In fact, I wrote a new song today, and I want to hear what you think of it. I don't like cozy breakfast nooks. I don't like modern arts. Well, I like farts. Ah! <laughs> and I got you this bag of weed. I don't smoke it myself, but I sure won't judge you. Thanks. Check you later, handsome guy. He's not just a delightful new friend for the family. He's your replacement. Oh, come on. That's ridiculous. You're getting old, Brian. The evidence is all right in front of your nose. <laughs> that's hilarious, new Brian. <laughs> Relax, Brian. There's no way they'd replace you. But it probably couldn't hurt to remind them how much they value you as a family member. You see, Chris, I care about you. And if there's ever anything you ever want to talk about, or if you just want some company... You were masturbating when I came in. Yeah. So... How's it hanging? Get out! Gotcha. Ah! Oh, oh, did you hear that? He farted. <laughs> Ah, what the hell is the matter with you? Hey, Brian, I thought maybe we could spend the afternoon together. Really? That'd be great. Awesome. Because uh, I got this new gun. Here we go. I don't think so, Peter. Like he thinks I'm going to shoot him. He's acting all crazy, like Quagmire when he drunk dials me. I forgot. Hey, hey, this song ma made me think of you. So li wait, listen to this song. I've decided I'm leaving. What? Leaving? Brian, why? I've thought about this long and hard and... <laughs> long and hard. I'm sorry, Brian. Please, please continue. Well, if your mind is made up about this, Brian, then I wish you the best of luck. I hope this move won't be a boner for you. We're gonna miss you, Brian. Mm, mm. These are the best pancakes I've ever had. And I've been to IHOP. I bet Brian would love these pancakes. I wonder where he is. He's next door with Cleveland. I saw him on my morning paper route. 
You know, pie isn't really pie without Cool Whip. It doesn't bother you the way I pronounce it? Cool Whip? No. Why would it? Everybody hurts. Well, I can't do this alone. Lois, I'm going to need your help here. <laughs> a summer loving had me a blast. Summer loving happened so fast. <laughs> when she was five years old, her dad ran over one of her legs with his van, and it's still kind of messed up. Yeah, sure, no problem. I'm serious, Brian. That leg is a train wreck. You gotta come back. Why? Because new Brian is such a tool. I mean, he's, he's so damn sweet. Hi, I'm looking for Glenn. Oh, what happened to your leg? <laughs> damn it, Brian. Forget it. I'm not going back as long as that new dog is there. As long as he's a part of that family, there's no place for me. Hey, new Brian, bad news. You gotta leave. Huh? What are you talking about? This is my home. Nobody likes you here, man. Rupert seems to like my humping. What did you say? Rupert humped him for two hours yesterday. So died. How could we have misjudged him so severely? Oftentimes, it's the ones who seem the happiest. We'll talk about it when you want to talk about it. Hey, Quagmire. Ah, oh, cool. You dress like Napoleon Dynamite. Hey, do you say anything funny? No, I just do quirky things for the sake of being quirky. The last couple of weeks, I kept saying, can I have a couple of minutes of your time to talk to you about something? This is what it was about. This evening is ruined. That's not how you say ruined. What? Ruined? What do you call the remains of ancient Greek structures? Ruins. And how would you describe this evening? Well, ruined, of course. I'm Olympic swimmer Mark Spitz. Oh, you mean like if he dove into the shallow end? No. Regular Mark Spitz. I get it. You're crippled Magnum P.I. I'm... Fine, I'm crippled Magnum P.I. Jane, this is Brian. Oh, Brian! Lois has told me so much about you. Have you ever had any sex that was voluntary? No, I have not. Yeah, have a good evening. Come on, buddy, let's go. Yep, with a capital C. Just tired of every girl I meet being crazy. Oh, things will work out for you. Now come on, let's forget our problems and get lost in the world of books. Whoops. I'm sorry. I, I, I don't think you want this book. It's all about atheism. Oh, I know. I'm an atheist. Tell you what, how about I take it and then send it to you after I read it? Swear to God? <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> Still no mail for me, huh? Jeez, Brian, you've been going through the mail every day for a week. What are you looking for? I'm expecting a very important package. My hat kept blowing away, so I put the package on it so I wouldn't lose it. That's the dumbest thing I've ever heard. Oh, you know, Carolyn, I rarely find myself connecting with another person like I have with you. I'm really enjoying your company. Mm. Don't do it, Brian. What the hell? That's why you can't maintain a relationship. You always try too soon and end up blowing it. Think about it. You know, maybe you're right. I, I gotta go. Really? Don't worry. You'll see me again. Good job, Brian. Ugh, my back is so stiff from sitting in that theater chair. I could probably use a back rub. Do you mind? Nope, oh, not at all. Take it slow! Uh, of course, I'll tell you what would really set you right is a couple of a leave and a good night's sleep. Hi there. Not interested. Okay. I am getting laid tonight. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What happened to taking it slow? I have been taking it slow. We've been going out for three weeks and I haven't tried anything. Ooh, I don't know, Brian. You don't want to mess things up. Well, we'll find out tonight, won't we? Oh, hey, Brian. Close that window. You're letting all the stank out. Well, you never made a move on me, so I thought you just wanted to be friends. Then I met Cleveland, and things just kind of took off. You completely misunderstood me. I, I wanted you like crazy, but I just figured if I showed a little restraint, you'd respect me. Guess you should have hit that when you had the chance, huh, Brian? What? You're the one who told me to wait. Oh, you're crazy, bitch. I didn't say that, bitch. I know what always makes me feel better. Delicious sweets. Holly, welcome to Fjord's Bakery. Uh, you know, I can just wash it off when I get home. Okay, look, next time we'll go to another store. How about that? Just forget it, all right? I just want to sit here, watch the ball game, and have a few beers. Ow! Oh, and boom goes the dynamite. There it is! I tell you what, this would be painful to watch if you loved that girl. 
Carolyn, it's been so nice getting to know you. She's way more fun than that wife you used to have. Wheezy or Florida or something? Loretta. Loretta! That's our answer! What do you mean? We've just got to go talk to Loretta. If we can get her back with Cleveland, Carolyn's all yours. Just let me do the talking. No, I think I can communicate with her better. She's only going to get the gist of what you're saying. Really? Isn't she one of those people outside the family who can understand me? Hi, Loretta. Brian! Stop it! What are you doing here? Cleveland sent us. He really wants you back. But I can never go back to Cleveland. Not after all the pain I cause him. Hey, Brian. Did you see that treadmill in the living room? <laughs> yeah. I didn't recognize you without my girlfriend wrapped around your waist. We're gonna elope in Hawaii tomorrow night. What? You got a problem with that, you can go fuck yourself. I'm sorry for hurting you. I want us to be together again as a family, and I promise I'll never betray you again. Carolyn and I are supposed to elope tomorrow, but here comes Loretta all apologetic and wanting to get our family back together and whatnot. Whatever happened to forgive and forget? Oh, you just want Cleveland out of the picture so you can get back with Carolyn. I guess at the very least I could go talk to her tomorrow and see how I feel. Thanks for your help, Griffins. But overall, Loretta is a delightful person, very pleasant to be around, and free to pursue a life of religious fulfillment. You know, there might be a way to drive the point home that she hasn't changed. Well, how would we do that? Hang on. Hey, Quagmire! Well, we're trying to make Cleveland see that she's no good and that he can't trust her, and if he catches you guys in the act, then... Oh, okay, all right, no, no, okay, no, I'm, I'm with you now. We have a club sandwich, a fruit plate, and a side of hot beef steak! giggity 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 <gasps> Glenn Quagmire, you get out of here! You go on and beat it, little Nick. I'm a changed woman. I don't mess with your kind anymore. You're a meanie. Why are you naked? Naked? But everybody's been telling me I'm wearing magnificent robes made from the finest silk. Ah. Uh. And I still love you, Loretta. Oh, Cleveland. But I, I can't take you back. Loretta, we leave certain parts of our lives in the past for a reason. Our time is over. I love somebody else. You can live your life, Loretta. <gasps> oh my God, Curlin! Quagmire! Cleveland, close the window. You're letting the stank out. You and I will find true love someday. Yeah, I suppose. Brian, do you think you could identify a genital wart? It hurts. You guys are gonna love this spa. They give the best massages. Your whole bodies will feel like Joe's legs. Wow. That would be nice for a short period. Oh, ha ha, you put some fake poo on the floor. Oh no! Oh, this is long overdue. There's nothing like a good suit massage. Hey, Chris, you know what I just got? The box set of Lord of the Rings. It's awesome. Why didn't they just fly the Eagle to Mordor instead of spending three movies walking there? All right, guys, the best thing you can do for your body after a massage is hot coffee, alcohol, and Slim Jims. I noticed one of my testicles went up inside my body, and it hasn't come back out yet. And I'm a little scared. Your employee is exposing himself to me. But, Dad... You got a lawsuit on your hands, mister. Whoa, 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 okay, look, look. Wow, Peter, a free gas card. This could save us a lot of money. Yeah, everyone except Brian, because he bought a Prius. What a dumbass. Peter, what the hell is that? It's a space shuttle, Lois. I figured with unlimited free gas, I can finally afford to go into space. I do not want you trying to fly that thing. You're not even a trained astronaut. Relax, Lois. Nothing bad ever happens to space shuttles. <laughs> How was it, Dad? Oh, mind-boggling, Chris. Barreling around the Earth at five miles per second. Instead of wasting your free gas on a series of comedic stunts, why don't you use it more constructively? I mean, we could take a family vacation. Everybody up, we're going on vacation. Car leaves at 6 a.m. sharp. I will ram that fucking thing up your goddamn ass! All aboard for the Grand Canyon. Ugh, 6 a.m. I shouldn't have stayed up all night listening to Persian radio. What's with all those birds? My tropical bird collection, just in case. Just in case what? We're not gonna need a dozen tropical birds. Well then, I guess we're not going on vacation. Oh, good. Then I'm going back to bed. All right, Peter, you can bring the stupid birds. Hey, Peter, what's up? Oh, hey, Quagmire. Just taking the family on vacation. Oh, that's good. Oh, hang on a second. I'm stuck behind some fat ass driving too slow. Hang on, Quagmire. I gotta kick this guy's ass. Yeah, I gotta kick this guy's ass. Lois! Lois? Where the devil is everyone? Just waiting for my breakfast. Lois! That must be the sugar. 
Oh, that's good. <laughs> Brian, do me a favor and check on Stewie, would you? He's fine. Hey, what do you say we sing a driving song? Love, it is a razor. Okay, that was good. That was good. I don't know, how'd that sound from your end? Sounded great out here. You want another? No, if that works for you, we're fine. All good on my end. They're gone. I'm all alone. I can do whatever I want. I finally get to see what a vagina looks. Ah, ah, oh, oh my God. Why are we in New York? I thought we were going to the Grand Canyon. Well, I just thought we should stop and pay our respects. It was a bunch of Saudi Arabians, Lebanese, and Egyptians financed by a Saudi Arabian guy living in Afghanistan. So you're saying we need to invade Iran? Joey's not in the car. He must have left him at home. That is hilarious. What kind of a mother am I? Peter, we gotta go home right now. Ah, great, Lois. Now we gotta bail on the whole vacation. This sucks. Quagmire and Cleveland are great with kids, like Robin Williams and Patch Adams. Hmm, it's still there. Usually the duties disappeared by now, but it hasn't. <gasps> Intruders! <laughs> oh, it's Cleveland and Bob Hope. The hell? Where are we? Getting to know your remote is easier than you might think. These buttons at the top control volume, channel... This may be kind of messed up, but am I the only one getting a boner right now? Is there anything that doesn't give you a boner, Glenn? I even tried Joe! This is my wheelchair! There are many like it, but this one is mine! Without me, my wheelchair is useless! No way! Those guys have a TV in their car! I swear to God, sometimes I think your head's screwed on backwards. I mean, do you have any idea? <gasps> <laughs> hey, Crashy. What are you doing down there? We've got to get a job. Otherwise, we'll be in worse shape than morbidly obese Albert. Got to clean the bathroom. No, no, I'm not going back in there. There was no attempt to get near the toilet. It, it, it's like they just pressed their buttocks against the wall. There was a guy inside selling shower curtain rings, so I bought a bunch of those. Peter, that was the last of our cash. You are unbelievable. You want to hurt me? Go right ahead if it makes you feel any better. I'm an easy target. Yeah, I talk too much. I'm not changing. I like, I like me. My kids like me. My friends like me. Movie references. Guys, I found us a ride to Quahog in the back of a truck. Hurry! Ah, oh, thank God! Stewie, Shawanda said she saw you sneaking food. What? You're fired. Let it be written on my tombstone that my life was considerably better with my family around. And I didn't realize it until it was too late. Mommy! Daddy! Chris! Dog! Brian! They're home! By the way, I disabled the V-chip and I watched so much porn. Oh, sweetie, I'm so glad you're all right. Mayhap, you can consult the on-screen help menu. 